colleagues Andy the budget angler. Today we're going to go and have a look at the River Lee, which is one of the nearest uh, fishing spots to me. Excuse the wind on the microphone if you're getting that. I'm just cycling along the Greenway in Plasto, which will get me down to the River Lee more or less traffic free. So, good little tip for any cyclist. Sorry, I probably should have said. Um, not actually going to be doing any fishing this morning, although it's a lovely day for it. But um, I'm just going to go and check it out. I've not fished there before. Cycled up and down a few times, heading out to Hertfordshire. The Lee angling stretch of the Lee navigation stretches from Tottenham Lock, uh, Tottenham Hale, up to uh, Hertford, I believe. So we're just going to go and have a look, see what we can see, and I'll show you some of the lower stretches below that in the Olympic Park, etc. Coming up, you'll be able to see the tidal stretch of, um, well, I think they call it the uh, Channel Sea Channel, or is it Creek Mouth? Uh, not quite sure. Now, I've heard stories about this little section of river here. Um, somebody used to fish this back in the 80s that I worked with and they've told me um, they used to be able to catch small sea fish, seafaring fish as far up as this being pushed up the Thames um, he said it was small flat fish and um, uh, pouting apparently uh, it might just be one of those fishermen's tails but you can see there's been a lot of wading bird activity down there or you might not be able to see on this camera but I can see lots of tracks of where wading birds, although strangely enough I cycle past in most days and that haven't seen much uh, in the way of bird activity, I can see a mallard duck at the moment and that is about it. Here we are guys, um, at the start of the busy part of the River Lee towpath at Bow Flyover. I'll show you a bit of footage of that in a moment. Uh, just looking down, if you can see too much of the sun there, but the water did look extremely coloured. Um, and now I've got up close, it's actually fairly clear, but there's just a, um, some sort of slick on the top of it possibly some uh, diesel from one of the narrow boats. There's also quite a bloom of green duckweed which has probably not died back. Um, it's been very mild down here in East London and even in my garden there are plants that haven't um, died off and they're summer plants so I think the duckweed hasn't even sunk yet so it might have been keeping the birds going with something to graze on but we'll see what the, the, the lee looks like. I haven't seen any fish moving yet um, nor do I expect to to be honest. Uh, reading the forums and having cycled up and down here a lot, it does seem that much of this has been predated by cormorants and um, you do see quite a few and I mean I've been cycling up and down here for many years and I've only seen 
put the odd shoal of gudgeon down this end. Um, I did once see a cormorant with a large silverfish that it just caught, um, but who knows where that had come from. Well, I've not rolled very far, guys, and you can see um, the Canal Authority or whoever manages this stretch of the Lee has put in some sort of uh, netting, I guess, to encourage uh, reed growth, maybe as a refuge for the fish from predation. Um, it, you know, it looks like it might be quite nice when that all grows up in the summer. Uh, this is the first time I've been down here this year and um, probably quite a, early last year, so, so I haven't seen this, uh, to be honest. Um, you hear about the plastic in the oceans and if you look here, I don't know if you can make that out, but that is basically a mass of plastic bags and there's even an old catch mop there um, that someone's dumped. So obviously uh, this is a very urban waterway. Um, still not seen any sign of fish life, but I probably should have said this is very early in the year still. We're in February. Um, we are the 17th of February today. It's an absolutely gorgeous sunny day just to be out along the river. Hi everyone, here you find me uh, just north of the A406, you can see the canal looks a bit more like a canal. Um, the slick, I'm glad to say, is gone. Obviously I'm quite a long way up from where um, you last saw me. I ducked into the Walthamstow wetlands um, up at Walthamstow marshes, took that all the way up and it, um, following the little path, it took me out and dropped me off at 
um, Costco on the A406. So then it was just a quick go through the industrial state with the biggest flight ship I've ever seen. And then uh, here I am back on the canal. This now is club stretch of the water and you'll be able to see me, uh, you'll be able to, yeah, I'll learn to speak English. As I was trying to say, this is the club stretch of the water, um, now up from Tottenham Lock. I haven't shown you up from there. Um, I've seen three people fishing um, with soft plastic on the jig. Um, much of that was before the club, but you can just see the old four six up there. Um, there was a, quite a few people fishing in the wetlands, and I didn't realise there was actually a fishery there. Um, I, I thought it was uh, a coarse fishery, so I thought it was a trout fishery for fly fishing. Um, but just goes to show, there are some more bits and bobs on your doorstep. So I'll carry them up the lee and uh, maybe show you a little bit more. Then hopefully uh, the next time you see me, um, it will be the next day. We'll actually get a bit of fishing done. A lot less congested up here. Um, there are no boats moored along here, which is a bit strange. Um, we're very close to uh, London. People are like uh, liverboards, and they could easily cycle into the city if they work there, or work in Walthamstow or Tottenham. Um, but maybe you're not allowed to moor here. I must say I don't know the rules of this particular waterway. Had a look at um, Springfield Marina earlier. Absolutely locked up tight. I've inquired around on the internet to find out if there's any contact for there and it seems to be a bit of a, a strange thing going on there. Um, I don't imagine a permanent moor in there is cheap. Um, peeking through the hedge I could see a lot of ex-broad cruisers interestingly enough. Um, and I'll probably be able to show you some videos aboard Evening Shadow which is a boat I own for sharing and um, we'll definitely be able to get some budget fishing done on the broad. So I've also been on the lookout for feathers, um, large feathers. I went through the wetlands, there's lots of big geese and swans, Egyptian geese, nice water bird feathers um, for making floats. Um, if I find any, I'll definitely show you some floats I've made. Um, I probably won't do a video of how to make those floats as they're a far better artisan floats craftsmen out there so uh, we'll see but in the meantime I'll just let you enjoy the ride see some uh, clearance work being done in the water which is great to see, very proactive. Sorry, stopped filming there for a bit um, and they got a chainsaw and a bit of rope and bits and bobs across the towpath, didn't want to uh, do myself, them or their equipment any damage. Um, obviously tightening on the towpath has its hazards, um, dogs on leads dogs off leads, pedestrians, but we're all 
all trying to enjoy this great leisure facility it's free um, so live and let live and just if everyone's considerate to everyone else I can't see if having any problems to be honest and I've never had anything uh, untoward happen um, on a towpath really and that's from here all the way up to Hartford and further south. <laughs>